Okay, let's talk about local anesthetics. A 31-year-old male presents to the ER after having been involved in a bar brawl at a local establishment. He has sustained a deep cut to his left forearm. After thoroughly cleaning the wound and confirming that there is no residual debris in the wound, you explain to the patient that he will need stitches. He asks whether he will feel any pain during the procedure, and you reassure him that you will administer medication to the area of the wound that will dull his sensation to pain by blocking neuronal sodium channels. So remember, this is a sodium channel blocker. So local anesthetic agents, um, they're divided in two groups, the esters and the amides, and uh, mechanism of action, they block the sodium channels on the neuronal cell membranes, thereby decreasing the activation of these neurons. The nerve blockade tends to occur most rapidly in myelinated fibers of a small diameter. Clinical use is minor surgical procedures. Side effects, seizures, neurotoxicity, myocardial depression, and hypertension. Other vasoconstrictors such as epinephrine are often given locally with a local anesthetic so that the rate of systemic absorption of the anesthetic is decreased and a more effective nerve block is obtained since more anesthetic remains in the desired area. Okay, so local anesthetic agents are uh, blocking sodium channels.